Welcome to Wizard with a Gun. This is an action-adventure, survival, sandbox game, or something along those lines, in which you play as a wizard with a gun. Yeah, he's just a dude who prefers to use dark magic and military-grade assault weapons. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the actual plot of this game is, but I believe this takes place in some sort of post-apocalyptic setting where the Earth has basically been shattered into pieces by some sort of apocalyptic event, and all the pieces of the Earth are just kind of floating aimlessly in space now. Which, I'm not gonna lie, that just straight up sounds like the plot for Batman. Bastion. And it does kind of make me wonder if the game's developers might have taken some inspiration from Bastion when designing the game's environments. Now, the actual objective of Wizard with a Gun is that you are trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic wasteland. There's various enemies that you have to fend off, of course, and it is also possible to create bases in this game and base building is actually a pretty huge component of the gameplay of Wizard with a Gun. And of course, weapon customization is another big aspect of the gameplay here. You can of course gather resources in order to craft bullets, but the interesting thing is that you can also enchant bullets. And depending on what sort of spells that you enchant your bullets with, it can have a variety of effects on the bullets that you fire. <laughs> I'm not sure what the exact effects are that you can apply to your bullets, but I did see one thing in the game's official trailer that showed one person using a submachine gun that had, like, purple exploding bullets that did a lot of damage. And I'm kind of hoping that we manage to find that in this video, because I feel like we're gonna have a pretty fun time with that if we do. And yeah, you're basically just trying to survive. I don't know what the end goal of this game is exactly. I imagine that there must be some sort of end game that we're trying to progress towards, but I think for the most part, Wizard with a Gun is meant to be a sandbox game. <laughs> and if you don't want to clear any of the objectives that you have to fulfill in order to complete the game, then you can simply choose to ignore them. <laughs> at least I'm assuming that's how that works. I don't know, I have not played this game off screen at all, just for the record. But I am pretty excited to get into it. Now, I do, once again, need to put a huge disclaimer at the beginning of this video here. This is a demo. <laughs> that's right, Wizard with a Gun is not actually finished yet. The game does not currently have a solid release date. Uh, the game's developers only revealed that it's coming out sometime later this year, but they didn't specify when. But in the meantime, the developers did release a free demo that you can play right now on Steam. And I would like to try and check out the demo here for a little while, because this game has been on my radar for quite a few months now because I think this game was initially unveiled sometime last year, or it might have been revealed a bit longer ago than that, I don't really remember, but I've known about this game for a while, and I've been keeping track of it for quite some time. This game is being worked on by an indie studio called Galvanic Games, and it is set to be published by Devolver Digital. Yeah, I've been playing quite a few Devolver games in recent times, haven't I? There's not really any reason for that, though. It's just that most of the indie games that I feel like playing right now and that I've wanted to play on the channel for a while, they just so happen to be Devolver published titles. That's just a coincidence. I also want to mention as well that this demo is single player only. Wizard with a Gun was designed primarily for cooperative play, but you cannot play this game cooperatively in the demo version. You'll notice that the options right here that say host multiplayer and join multiplayer are grayed out. Well, not really grayed out, but they're like darkened right here. Yeah, multiplayer is not available in the demo for this game, and it likely won't be available until the full version comes out. It does seem pretty clear to me that this game was designed specifically for co-op play, but you can play this in single player as well. So I guess with all that out of the way, we'll just go and play the game now, because I don't really have anything else that I want to say on the title screen here, so... Yeah, let's, let's just go and play it. Let's just go and get this over with. Learn the ropes. If this is your first time playing, we strongly recommend you play the tutorial. It'll help you learn the basics and introduce you to the world and characters. Okay, fine. I guess we could. Yeah, let's, we'll, we'll go play the tutorial first then. Why the heck not? When the timer hits zero, chaos is unleashed on the world. Wait, timer? It's the perfect time to gather arcana if you can survive. Wait, there's a timer? What do you, what do you mean there's a timer? Oh, there's an FMV cutscene though. Okay. 
I'll 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 watch it. Oh. I wasn't expecting an entire song here during the FMV sequence, but okay, holy frick. Oh, that guy just got, like, frozen. Oh, wow. And sniped him as well. Holy crap, okay, I can already tell that there's definitely some production value on this for sure. Indeed. I guess this would be a good time to mention as well, by the way, that, um... Uh, Wizard with a Gun is also coming out on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Apparently, it's being developed natively for those platforms. And you can actually wishlist the PS5 version already, so... It's up to you now, kid. It's up to me now, huh? I see. Alright, I see what I must do now. I see what I must do in order to, uh, in order to, uh, fulfill my, my destiny, as it were. Oh yeah, and I guess to add on to that, obviously you can, uh, wishlist the PC version on Steam right now as well. I actually didn't know that you could wishlist games on the PlayStation Store now. I, le I legitimately did not know that. I don't know if that's been a feature of the PlayStation Store for a long time, but I don't remember you being able to do that. Okay, we can customize our wizard here. Our wizard. Oh, okay, I kind of like this hat. Wait, actually, wait a second. Do I want to make him look more like Robin Hood? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to waste too much time in the in the character customization here. But I'll, I'll, I'll just check very quickly to see what I can actually give him. Okay, little skull. Oh, I can give him a robe? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, so there's like, there's like dresses that I can give him. Uh, okay, I, I can't tell if I'm making him look more like a pirate or not. I have no idea, but, uh, gloves. Yeah, I guess to more, maybe to more closely fit his, uh, his outfit. Or maybe his backpack. Yeah, it kind of has, like, the same same color as it, sort of. I don't, I don't really know. Um, yeah, the, the, the black <laughs> black boots. Okay, yeah, th these seem like very uh, relatively basic-looking boots. Yeah, let's sure, let's go with these ones. Oh, I can change the backpack. Got a nice glowing potion in the back of that one. I don't know, take the one with the glowing blue potion for now. Oh, eye shape? Okay, well, I can barely even see his eyes underneath that hat anyway, but, like... Okay, his eyes are just invisible now. Okay, actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should change the hat to... <laughs> maybe I should change his hat just so you guys can see his eyes better. I don't know. Let's give him some nice-looking eyelashes. Sure, why not? Oh, we can change the color. What colors do we have here? Okay, all the colors of the rainbow, it seems. You know what? I do like my cyan colors and my teal colors... Uh, sure, let's go with, let's go with that. Let's go with, like, the cyan color here. Okay. I'm just gonna confirm right now, because I don't want to waste too much time, uh, doing all of this here. Like, doing the character customization, I mean, because I kind of just like to get into the game. Alright. What's going on here? Wizard without a gun. Quest begun. Find your way to the tower. Wizard without a gun. Get moving. Okay. So, I do not, uh, I, I don't currently have a gun at the moment. But can I, can I punch things at least? Oh yeah. In classic Minecraft fashion, I can punch trees in order to get wood. Very nice. I'll take that with me for now then, in that case. Okay, yeah, I can break open the crates as well. Okay, so I can left-click in order to punch things. Can't seem to use right-click to do anything right now. I'll just pick up the wood in the, in the meantime, though. Okay, so there seems to be an entire ship that just crashed into <laughs> the side of this floating island here. Was I- was I on that ship previously? I can't quite tell. I don't really know. Also, I noticed that even the crates have levels on them. This is a level one crate. That is very fascinating. Can I also, uh... Oh, hello, wizard. Hang on, I'm gonna talk to you in a second. Can I punch this- this bush? No, it doesn't seem like I can. Okay, wait a second. Let me- let me- let me destroy the barrel first. Oh, wait, I can move the barrel around when I punch it. Okay, there's a giant eyeball down there that's kind of just staring at me. Um, 
Oh, I actually, wait a second. Can I also punch the ship? Yeah, and that's doing, like, very little damage to it. It's a level 4 ship, apparently. Oh, no, it might actually be the boulder that I'm, uh, that I'm punching here. Okay, well, either way. Um, how do, how do I open up my inventory? The I key? Okay, got 14 wood. Oh, it seems like I can equip some potions here as well. Yeah, this is all of my equipment. The alchemist backpack. These are just all my eyes. Warlock's amulet. Oh, actually, wait a second. This is, is this the, is this the crafting menu right here? Yeah, the task list, uh, task list is empty right now. Okay, wait a second. I can actually craft a wooden gun right now. A simple gun made of wood, every wizard knows how to make one. Wait, can I just craft this now? Oh, apparently I can. I already have a gun. Okay, I am officially a wizard with a gun now. Uh, Remedy T slowly regenerates health over time. I need tangy leaves for that, and I don't know what that even is. And I clearly do not have it at the moment. Okay, yeah, left click to fire the gun. Can I d talk to the Cryptomancer first? Oh, good. You are still alive. Or you are still alive. You aren't my first pick, but my first pick is already dead. It's not ideal. I wouldn't ask you to do this if I had another choice. There's not much time left before the world ends. You'll have to get into the tower to roll back time to before chaos started wrecking things. There's a doorway not too far from here. Just follow the path. Okay. Uh, so, oh my goodness, okay, I almost rolled off the side of the, the side of the island right here. Okay, yeah, I can dodge roll. This game does indeed have dodge rolling. Okay, wait a second, can I, can I punch? Okay, I can right click the punch now. Okay, these are some tangy leaves, though. These are some tangy leaves. Let me try to actually pronounce things correctly for a change. Okay, well, I already have... I have four of them now. I do indeed have four of them. I don't know if I necessarily need to... need to craft that right now. But I guess I could, if I wanted to, right? Sure. Crafted one remedy tea. Okay, where did that... where did that put it, though? In my inventory. Oh, okay, I can use the Q key in order to use that. Okay. Slowly regenerates health over time. There's a three second cooldown and 60 second duration. Heals 10 every one second. Okay. Right, I would just like to have that on me for now. Oh, these castle walls I can also destroy, but they are level 8 apparently? Let me just punch more bushes for now. There we go, punch, punch all the bushes. No vegetation's gonna get in my way today. Alright, well it doesn't really seem like I can do anything with these castle walls. Yeah, it's telling me to fire the gun. I already know how to fire it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, well, it kind of seems like I'm already gonna need to use this because, holy crap, I did not know that tower was gonna do so much damage to me. Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I should probably do some, some dodge rolling here. Oh, yeah, I need to do some dodge rolling whenever he fires that big, uh, whenever he launches that big fireball at me because that is, that is gonna, that seems to do a lot of freaking damage. Holy crap. That definitely does, uh, some serious destruction to me. Okay, I can reload as well. Or I have to reload. You have limited ammo? I mean, I kind of already figured that. I mean, I know that you have to actually, like... Y you have to basically, like, craft ammunition manually in this game, right? I mean, that's that's one of the things that I read in, in, like, the game's description. And when I say game's description, I mean, like, on Steam specifically. Okay, wait a second. These... Oh, these are apples. Oak apples? Okay. Let me just chop down this entire tree here. Okay, actually, you know what? That's gonna take way too long. I think I should just, uh, move on for now. Let me just pick up the apples in the meantime, then. Okay, what- what is- what is this meter right here that's telling me, like, how wet I am? Oh yeah, you know damn well I'm gonna be wording things very awkwardly throughout this entire video. I mean, it's pretty much become a staple of all my videos at this point. Okay, somebody is on the ground here. He might be dead. Possibly. Talk to the Cryptomancer. She's dead, wizard. Well, see, I was correct. There's no bounty left for you to collect now. All the doorways are closed again, across the entire tower. She opened them all once. Perhaps you can too, but you'll need Arcana. Chaos is just magical energy, malignant and mindless. You'll need to fight it to gather some Arcana. To fight it, you'll need a... Uh, what did she call it? Ah, yes, a gun. Now that you have a gun, you can gather Arcana to unlock the doorway. It'll take you to a safe place. Chaos monsters will drop Arcana when they die. I see you. Find a source of Arcana. Okay, can I steal your wood here? Can I steal your wood? Honestly, it, I, I, I think I'm trying a little bit too hard now to find euphemisms in my language, but... Um, wait, that, that's a doorway? A doorway of some sort? Okay, wait a second. Can I talk to this dude? The last part... Wait, actually, are you the same guy from the, uh... 
from the opening cutscene that we saw earlier? I think you are. Everything comes to an end, kid. We got the best seats for watching the show. That old ghost tell you the fate of the world's in your hands? I've heard her say that one before. It's a heavy burden to put on anyone. Don't stress too much, kid. If you fail, no one will be around to blame you. Good luck with everything, kid. Oh yeah, that same eyeball is also the one that I saw in the FMV cutscene as well. Yeah, that's that's the same thing. Okay, so are we trying to get over there? Perhaps? I would kind of like... Hang on a second. Before I go through that doorway, I kind of like to see what's over here. Oh, the Cryptomancer is back to speak to us again. Be careful. Beings of pure chaos are coming through rifts up ahead. Defeat them to obtain Arcana and open the doorway. Oh, I, I need Arcana to actually open the door. Okay, no, so I'm gonna need to go over here anyway. Okay, then let's let's do it then. Let's freaking go and do it. Maybe in the meantime I should I should try and grab some more uh some more leaves just so I can make more remedies. Just in case I get completely fricked again by by like a giant turret or a fireball. Yeah, I only need like I only need like one more. Hang on a second. I just need one more leaf. Just give me one more leaf here. I don't think I'm gonna get it from that. Here, I'll I'll go and terrorize this little bush right here. Pick this up. Okay, yeah, that's that's more than enough, actually. Oh, I guess I could also consume the oak apples to get some of my health back, but I don't think I need to do that right now. Yeah, just, just craft this in the meantime. There we go. Oh, I got a potion wheel as well? Hold Q for potion wheel. Oh, okay, I see. Can I... I can, like, swap this out, I think. Yeah, okay. So then I can just press the Q key and it'll use, uh, it'll use the, the healing remedy. Okay, maybe I should just swap that out for now. I'm not gonna waste my bullets here. I would like to just punch all this stuff for now, even though it is, like, significantly slower, but still. I just, I, I don't want to waste my ammo, man. Even though I have, like, 90 of them, apparently, but it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. That's a portal. Oh, the portal has a health bar, apparently. Oh, no, the portal is actually a monster. Okay, well, I better... I better, oh no, I better, oh no. Oh wait, I have to reload, oh frick. Okay, hang on a second. It, are, wait, are these guys dropping, dropping stuff? I think they are. Oh yeah, they're dropping Arcana. Okay, can you please, can you please, can you please go and die? There you go, thank you very much, I killed the portal. Oh god, I saw that guy charging at me. He was, he was charging up something. Okay, is he, are you back already? Okay, wait a second, hello. Chaos is a relentless force, but you stood strong against it. Return to the doorway to open the tower. There are still guys that are trying to kill me, though. Hang on a second. What what is happening right now? There we go. Very nice. I got forty six arcana. Okay, let me just let me just go and and like destroy all of this crap just to get more leaves. Sure. <laughs> we'll just we'll just get all that for now. Okay. I don't know if it's possible to fall off the floating islands, though. Uh, I because I I think in Bastion you can do that as well. Actually, I don't know. I guess just as a heads up, guys, I might be uh. There, there might be quite a few m moments from this point onwards where I might be uh, comparing some design elements of this game to Bastion. I'm just gonna warn you, like, right now. Also, I should probably do a video on Bastion, actually, because I've been... That's another game I've been meaning to check out on the channel for a while. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Use the Arcana you collected to repair the doorway. Alright, let's get it then. Oh, this only required 20. Okay, well, that's that's way more than enough. Let's repair this. There we go. And we should be able to just go through it right now. Oh yeah, we just we just teleport immediately. You made it to the tower, you have a moment to relax. Quest begun the tower, explore and learn the basics of the tower. Okay, this is a soul tether. I don't know what this is. But my soul is getting, like, torn out of my body. And, oh, okay. And just holding it with its fingers. Oh, it created, like, a bridge. It created a bridge of some sort. Oh, wait a second, I want to pick up the book. The first edition, learn how to learn. Okay. We're gonna learn how to learn, apparently. God, I love learning about learning. The first edition is an ancient Makana, Makana tome capable of learning about the world around it. You can use it to scan objects to find out more about them. While holding the first edition, you will see an indicator above objects you can scan. You can upgrade the first edition, allowing it to scan more objects. Scanning some objects and creatures requires, uh, creatures provides recipes for crafting. No, it provides them, it doesn't require. Okay. Okay, press F to equip the first edition. Okay, we got it. Uh, scan an object? Why don't we scan the, the soul tether? Soul tether, first edition, and then read the first edition. God machines. 
Soul Tether is a gun machine used to safeguard the souls of those who use them. And the first edition is an ally. Okay. The first edition is referring to itself as an ally. In the early days of Meccanomancy, after constructing the Prime Meccana, the Wizards of the Imperium created the first editions, books capable of learning on their own and writing their own pages. Their creations ended up being too intelligent. The first editions rose up against the wizard who created them and put the Academy to the torch, destroying the Conjuration and autom Automation's wing of the school. I thought that said automaton for some reason. Yeah, the automation's wing of the school and killing scores of students and instructors in a conflict that came to a stalemate after a week of fighting. Battle sorcerers were called in from the Coli front to break the blockade and defeat the tomes. In the aftermath of the uprising, the arch wizards of the Imperium enacted laws limiting the way Makana books could be written. No longer could Makana write their own pages, no longer could they learn. From the fires of the Academy, only a few first editions remained. Most were locked under strict quarantine, separated from the stone and metal constructs that allowed them to move freely and cast spells. After the shattering of the world, all the first editions were assumed to have been destroyed. Okay, so... The books became so intelligent that they led an uprising against the people who created them. Okay. We're, we're, we're talking about sentient books that have the ability to, like, like kill people. Alright. Oh yeah, they actually have an eyeball as well. They have a little eye that's like blinking from time to time, okay. We've got a nice little Cyclops book right here. I don't know, man, that, that eye does not seem particularly trustworthy, I'm just saying. Kinda got a glowing red uh, pupil right there. I don't know, I don't really trust that. You can't trust a glowing red eyeball like that. I mean, if 2001 A Space Odyssey has taught us anything, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. The wheel, roll back time. Okay, wait. I want to scan this as well. What is the wheel? An ancient god machine used to roll back time. The process is chaotic and sometimes produces unexpected results based on whether the cause of an event is still in the world or in the tower. As a safeguard put in by the gods, all tethered beings must be in the tower for the wheel to roll back. Okay, I need to scan five buildings with this. Uh, scan... The, oh god, I keep forgetting I have to left click. There we go, scan... The Research Makana? What is this? This massive Makana was built in the early days of Gunman Seed to aid in spell research. Once stated the yard, it's since been replaced with newer research tables. It remains a great educational resource to beginner gunmancers. Okay, spell research. So this is probably the thing that's going to allow us to actually, like, use even more spells or unlock more spells that we could potentially use on our bullets. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, this thing I cannot scan. This thing is glowing green, a manuscript. Can I just quickly check what that is? A page of arcane ideas and formula. Useful for research. Okay, I might want to hold on to that then in that case. What about over here? That's another manuscript. Uh, pick up a gear? What is the gear? Or does it even appear in here? God, I'm saying a lot of things that are just rhyming. <laughs> I'm just making a lot of rhymes unintentionally right now. Okay, actually, wait a second. It is it is telling me, like, what I can actually scan. Arcana Bank. Uh, oh, oh god, wait a sec. Okay, I can probably deposit my Arcana in here, right? Because I still have 31 left over. Okay, what is this? Store and safeguard your extra Arcana for later use. Maybe I could just do that right now. Yeah, sure. Deposit the other 31 that I got. This can hold up to 2,000, apparently. All right. A very big Arcana Bank. Uh, I gotta collect these ancient gears as well. There's just a black hole in the background. And it looks like the black hole has an eyeball. Yeah, that's that seems perfectly normal. That doesn't seem uh, 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 deeply menacing whatsoever. No, nope, totally nothing wrong with that. that. That's perfectly normal. That's a perfectly normal sight right there. Not an indication that the world is gone to complete hell. <laughs> Absolutely not. Why would you think that? Yeah, the other machine we need to try and scan is over here, but just, uh, just to hold up a minute. I gotta, I gotta punch some things first to get it out of the way. There we go. Pick all of this up. Oh yeah, I can also pick up these gears as well. There we go. Arcane Annihilator? Okay, well, with a name like that, it sounds rather, uh, rather menacing. Sounds like it's a very powerful machine. The Arcane Annihilator destroys items and converts them into raw arcana. Okay, well, I mean, we get more arcana with it. It sounds like it could very well be useful. I could use it right now. 
I don't think I really want to use it right now, though, because I don't even know what I could what I could use this on. Well, I guess the the Tangi leaves. But maybe I would like to hold on to all of these items for now. Because I'd like to see if maybe I could eventually use that wood in order to craft some stuff. Like, maybe craft some new items that aren't just, like, wooden guns, perhaps. I, I hope. Alright, we can already upgrade the first edition as well. Return the ancient gears to the wheel of chronomancy. Which is right here, actually. There we go. The chronomancer's wheel. There we got it. Very nice, we repaired the machine. The Chronomancer's Wheel is a god machine that rolls back time. Return ancient gears to add to the wheel and rebuild more of the world. Every gear you add allows you to roll time back further and discover more of the shatter. Okay, so we're trying to roll back time in order to figure out, like, how the world actually got obliterated in the first place. I see. Reset and rebuild the world by rolling back time. Oh, we do that right now. Okay, let's do it then. Quest complete! The tower! The tower is your home away from chaos and the end of the world. I think... Did it already tell me that? I'm pretty sure it did. Alright. Let's just turn back time quickly and see what that unlocked. Okay, we have to go back to, uh... The first rider, you've rolled back time to before the end of the world. Maybe Hilda's alive again. Okay, we gotta find Hilda. Upgrade the first edition. Okay, so how do, how do we upgrade that? Can we upgrade that now? Research Makana Repair. Oh, we used the manuscripts to repair this, because this is also broken as well. Okay. Uh, metal scraps. We need metal scraps now. Well, where in the frick are we gonna get those exactly? I mean, these are not metal, right? No, this is literally wood. What am I doing? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do for now? I'm gonna go back through this doorway, and, uh... Actually, wait a second. I can scan this with the book as well, which I, I may as well. Yeah, what is it? What entry does it say for the for the doorway? Doorway is also a god machine. When charged with Arcana, these doorways lead back to the tower. Okay, could have already figured that was the case, but uh, let's let's just go back. Let's go back out here. Begin a new expedition. If you go through this doorway, you'll be starting a new expedition. If you die during an expedition, expedition, you drop all the items out of your backpack and return to the Soul Tether. Okay, that's fine with me. It sounds like a plan. By the way, I do believe that all of the environments in this game are procedurally generated. Because I think every time you start a new expedition, it does actually create a randomly generated world. So I think the world actually appears different every single time. So let me just look at the map here. Yeah, pan, ping. Okay, yeah, but I, I feel like this ping mechanic might be more useful in multiplayer, though. Yeah, it's just showing me where I am. I guess it could be used to... It could be used for other players to show where they are on the map. Okay. I don't think that's going to be useful in single player, though. I don't know what this is. This just looks like a giant cauldron filled with books. I don't know why it's here exactly, but I can just punch it over and over, and eventually I think it'll explode, right? Yeah, it actually does. Oh my god, what did I... What did I just pick up? Holy... Oh, well, actually, I did get a metal scrap somewhere. I got a metal scrap from that. Yeah, I got, I got some stones, I got Makana oil. Flammable and thick, used to lubricate the stone joints of a Makana. Yeah, I got two metal scraps. We need the metal scraps in order to repair that, uh, that other machine that we saw that I already forgot the name of. Hang on a second. What actually was the name of that machine? Yeah, the research Makana. So in order to, in order to be able to, to research more spells that we can use, we're gonna need to repair that. Okay, who's this person? Gunsling- oh, this is actually Hilda. You- Oh, you're my replacement. Of all the people on the Shatter, you? Gods, I hope she knows what she's doing. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. But, if you're going to take my job, you should at least do it well. First things first, let's get that gun reloaded. Head over to the loading bench. Okay. Safe travels. Well, I mean, I'm not leaving just yet, just hold your horses. Wizards use loading benches to build spells on their guns. You'll use it to craft bullets and powders with resources you gather from the world. Okay, we're gonna actually, like, enchant bullets now. Select the bullet shot. Select the bullet to craft. Uh, craft bullet or track it with a task. Okay, yeah, select the bullet. Wait, can I actually just craft an- Oh, wait, I can use wood to craft bullets. Ooh, okay, wait. Craft one destruction bullet one. One destruction bullet one. Oh, okay, so when I'm just using one wood, it actually crafts like a hundred bullets. Oh, there are sorcerer bullets as well. Okay, it doesn't seem like I have any other bullet types right now, though. 
Okay, well, I- I got- I got 300 bullets now. Okay, scan Hilda with the first edition- wait, I can also scan this with the first edition as well, though. Gotta keep forgetting it's left click, dude. The loading bench. Indeed. What does the entry for this say? A wizard's primary tool for crafting bullets and powders for their guns. New bullets and powders for the loading bench can be unlocked at research stations. Recipes unlocked, loading bench. Oh, is this- is this also something I can create myself? Yeah, building unlocked, loading bench world builder. Okay, scan Hilda with the first edition right here. Yes, let me let me let me try to scan her, please. There we go. Okay, what does her entry say? This is one of our allies. The inventor of gunmancy and a skilled alchemist, Hilda has been on the run from her brother's militias for 20 years. Five years ago, she left the mainland to travel to Shatter. She spread gunmen sea far and wide across the broken islands in hopes that when the mainlanders invade in earnest, the inhabitants will put up a fight. The gun cults have discovered her plot, and the bounty on her head and those who follow her has increased dramatically. This also unlocked the world builder recipe? Yeah, recipe unlocked, world builder, your inventory. Okay, so can I talk to her again? Ah, simple destruction spell. A classic. Next time you're in the tower, check out the research Makana. It'll help you learn to build better spells. You'll need to learn to build your own loading bench. The next time you roll back the wheel, I may not be here. Great. The book should have taught you a recipe for one of those guns now. Go ahead and craft one. Okay, open the inventory. Open the crafting tab. Oh, this is... Oh, this is the... The, the machine that I use... Or, like, the weapon I use for, uh... The weapon I use for actually, like, creating objects of my own or like putting down my own structures oh wait i actually am missing a metal scrap okay hang on a minute i'm missing like one single weapon scrap here okay hold on armor too high research better spells i don't care dude i need i just need like one more hang on a second this 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 gun is doing enough damage as it is there we go those are some metal scraps right okay very nice let me just reload quickly there we go. 20 bullets well spent, I think. Alright, we're already on day two now. Uh, let me just craft this here. Crafted one world builder. Very nice. Now we just talk to Hilda again. Ah, uh, I remember when I built my first furniture gun. <laughs> Make sure to build a loading uh, furniture gun. That's uh, a statement I've never heard anyone say before. Not even a video game character. Make sure to build a loading bench in your tower. It'll serve you until the end of time. Switch to the furniture gun. The world builder can be used to construct and deconstruct buildings. Buildings constructed in the tower are permanent. Those in the shatter are lost when you roll back time. Okay. Okay, it's telling me to slot the ancient gears into the wheel. Didn't I already do that? Okay, wait a second. Okay, crafting stations, a loading bench. Uh, well, I mean, I have enough to make a chest. Oh, and another arcana bank as well. Oh my god, I need a hundred arcana to make another arcane annihilator. Yeah, I can make a loading bench of my own, which requires 15 wood and 8 metal scrap. Okay, is it actually telling me to go back to the tower? It seems like it is. Build a loading bench in the tower. Okay, so I may need to... I may actually need to go back then. Okay, well, hang on a second. I'm gonna need to go and get more scrap, though. I'm gonna need to get more scrap, because, uh, I need 8 in order to build that loading bench. Yeah, I'm gonna need more metal scrap in order to, in order to build this, though. Actually, I might need to... Hang on a second. I might actually need to, to to go back for just a minute. Okay, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of starting to feel like I I should not have gone back through the doorway so quickly because I probably should have stuck around to get more metal scrap because yeah, I need at least 8 in order to in order to build this. So, I am going to need to to continuously shoot some more gears over here and I'm going to need to try and get some more some more scrap here. Okay, that's that's already 3. So that's four in total. I don't know if this also drops scrap. Okay, yeah, it actually it actually does. Okay, I think that was that's six now. Indeed. Okay, I just need two more then. I just need two more. Oh, I guess it's not actually possible to fall off the island. There's like an invisible wall here. Okay, well this this should give me enough actually. This should give me enough scrap to be able to to create this now. There we go. Yeah, it see it seems like it does. Oh, actually, wait a second. Who's this? A little kitty cat. Wait a second, don't run away from me. Hold on, don't run away. I, I don't know, I don't know what you are. Wait, why is there a question mark around your head? Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running away from me. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going, little bud? He's just running away from me. I mean, I don't want to shoot him, though. I, I don't know, like, how to... I, I don't exactly know how to, like, how to, like, capture him. I mean, I can dodge roll towards him. 
Oh, there, there's more than one of them, actually. Yeah, you guys seem to get, like, really scared if I if I hang around you for too long. You get, like, very confused, and then you just run away. Okay! Uh, no thank you, please. Uh, okay, I see where you, exactly where you guys were retreating. Okay, wait a second. You guys seem friendly, though. Could you just run away from me? Okay, hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold the hold for a moment. Oh my god, I... Oh, Jesus. Okay, wait a second. How much metal scrap do I have? I have exactly eight. Okay, wait a second. I'm gonna d destroy these damn... These damn, like... D I, yeah, yeah, okay, I should... I should have dodge rolled. I pressed left shift accidentally when I did that. Wait a second. I know how to play video games, guys. I know how to game hard like a true gamer. Jesus, you're just, like, destroying all the trees here. Okay, hold on. I, I do want the cats to get out of the way, though, because I don't want them to get accidentally hurt here. Hold up. I'm, I'm engaged in, like, an all-out firefight right now. There we go. At least cleared the trees out of the way, so that's good. Very nice. Very good indeed. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Actually getting the hang of these dodge rolls now. Okay, very good. Very nice. That did actually drop more stone and... Oh, another manuscript as well. But I think I already have more than enough of that, though. I think I already have enough manuscripts, actually, to, to rebuild the, the repair mechana. Okay, yeah, there's a chest here. What's in the chest? More metal scrap. Which, sure, an iron ingot. Solid bar of iron purified in a furnace. I don't know what I could use that for. We got a weak healing potion as well. Regain a small amount of health. 300 heal, 25 second duration. 3 second cooldown. Heals 10 every 1 second. Okay, I'll take that with me as well then. Okay, very nice. We did actually get something for our troubles. Can I don't know, I was just kind of wondering if we could pet the kitty cat. Can we pet the kitty cat? I want to pet the kitty cat. Stop running away from me. I'm trying to love you. God damn it. Come back. Actually, hang on. Can I... Oh, I can actually just pick up the mushrooms. Okay. I can I can pick up these mushrooms as well. Fragrant toadstool. <laughs> what is this thing? A poe turnip? What are... Wait, what are these items that I'm picking up now? I don't know what any of these do. Oh, they're consumables. Okay, that also heals me. This increases my speed by 30%. Ooh. Ooh. If you can get past the stench, it has a wonderful texture and woody aftertaste. Okay. Increase speed by 30, but is that gonna... Is that gonna make it easier for me to catch the damn cats here? I don't know if I can even catch them. Like, I don't know if that actually is possible or not. But either way, give me this other turnip. Anyway, I, I got completely distracted by that. I apologize. Um, we're gonna just go and try to, try to build this damn... Uh, what was it called again? Well, we're gonna repair the research Makana, which I think we can actually do right now. Yeah, we can. Might as well just repair it immediately. There we go. Okay, now we need to build a loading bench in the tower. Give me- give me my furniture gun. Where do we even put this? We can't put it right there. Uh, god, I want to make this look aesthetically pleasing, but it- I don't think it's gonna let me. Um... I don't know, maybe we can just put it over here for now? Yeah, there we go. We fire a little, uh, fire a little bullet, and it just, it just builds it immediately. Very nice. Okay, well, I mean, we got it. We do indeed have it. I can just, uh, craft charges. Wait, craft charges? Oh, no, I'm crafting the bullets. Okay. Yeah, current bullets 300. I don't know if there's a way to upgrade that so we can hold on to more bullets. Maybe there is. Oh, we can also rename the weapons as well. Okay. Yeah, so you can you can even like customize the names of the weapons too. That's interesting. Okay, so what kind of other bullets can we? Oh right, we need to upgrade the first edition as well. Allows the first edition to scan creatures like that little cat that we saw earlier. Okay, we need something called a fiddlehead fern. Burning bullet one, bullet that ignites what it hits with fire. Cold bullet, bullet that chills and slows whatever it hits. A poison bullet, a bullet that adds doses of poisons to whatever it hits. Or a charming bullet, a bullet that charms enemies so they follow and fight alongside you, but it does not work on chaos. Hmm. You know what? I can apparently research some of these right now, actually. Give me some burning bullets, and maybe give me, uh, some cold bullets as well. Now we also have a fire research station, learn the secrets of fire here, and a frost research station, a building where you can study frost and cold spells. Hmm. Oh, and this actually requires tangy leaves for some reason. Okay. Very nice. I don't... Can we... Hang on. Can we... Can we do this right now, actually? I mean, I don't know. I, I wanted to see if perhaps... Oh, no, I actually can craft these. Wait, can I craft these now? 
Oh, it seems like I can. Craft them. Currently loaded bullet still has 300 ammo. Replace loaded bullet with new one. Uh, that's... That's fine. That's fine. I want to free some dudes. I want to free some dudes with my bullets here. I don't know, I just want to try this out here. Sorcerer bullets and... Oh, this is an alchemist bullet. Okay, well, what's the difference, honestly? <laughs> yeah, 30 damage, 38 cold damage, and makes the object it hits colder. Wait, so do these bullets actually do a bit more damage? 38? They might be better. Possibly. They might be better. I don't really know for sure. I would just like to use a different type of bullet just to see what other sort of effects it can give me. Like, what sort of effects that the other bullets can give me here, so we may as well try it out, right? I think I'm gonna need to go back to the expedition, though, in order to get that Fiddlehead Fern. And I think I know where I could potentially grab those from. So let's go back out here for now. Yes, that is that is fine. Just go back out here to the Imperium. Uh, I, I am gonna need another manuscript here, though. I, I'm just gonna punch this for now. Because I don't want to waste any of my bullets trying to destroy this thing. So just give me a moment. I mean, in the meantime, we can just pick this up. Well, actually, wait. Can we get the Fiddlehead Fern from from this right here? I can't even punch this at all. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. Okay, just just hit this. Okay, that there's more manuscripts. Okay, there we go. Very nice. I do need those. I would very much be needing those right about now. Maybe pick up some tangy leaves in the meantime. There we go. I think I I think I am back up to four. Okay, so can I actually like? No, I can't even shoot these either. Okay, that's that's really odd. I don't know why I can't interact with that. Yeah, I know it's telling me to upgrade the first edition, but I need to go and find a, a fiddlehead fern somewhere. I don't know where to actually find that. Give me these toadstools in the meantime. There we go. Does Hilda have something new to tell me? Make sure to build a loading bench in the tower. It'll serve you to the end of time. 200 years ago, the world broke and the shatter was created. Since then, things were stable mostly until we opened the tower and let chaos out. Chaos keeps destroying the world no matter how many times we roll back the wheel. Now chaos has broken the wheel. To rebuild the world, you're going to need to rebuild the wheel first, one ancient gear at a time. My allies, the Riders, may have some of the pieces as well, but they won't trust you. This is the first time you met us, not the first time we've met you. When you roll back time again, I won't remember this. Okay, well, if you say so. Okay, you're giving me another gear here. Ancient gears are used to rebuild the Chronomancer's wheel. After returning an ancient gear, you can roll back time to expand the Shatter with new areas. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so we'll be able to explore brand new areas with this. Okay, well, actually, wait a second. We might need to go back for, for a minute. We may, we may need to go back again for just a moment. I do have another ancient gear. Okay, so wait a second. Can I... Can I just upgrade this now? Do I have enough to upgrade this? Oh, right. The fiddlehead for... Well, I mean, we have the manuscripts and the tangy leaves, at least. Okay, we'll we'll get to that soon, okay? We'll we'll get to that eventually, but just put this, put this gear back in for a minute. Yeah, we're gonna need to roll back the world. Okay, yeah, we have... Yeah, we got more gears being added. Okay, so roll back the time again. Quest complete, the first rider. You learn how to craft spells from Hilda Bulla herself. Oh, that's her full name, Hilda Bulla. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Going back even further in time, we're gonna need to find Hilda again. Uh, oh, we got a timer. Oh, why do we have a timer? Oh, five minutes. Chaos is now breaking apart the world. You have limited time until chaos is unleashed. When chaos is unleashed, it begins to devour the world and surviving becomes more difficult. Awaken dormant rifts and destroy them to push chaos back even further. Oh no, okay. We have a- oh, gears collected four. Upgrade the first edition, find Hilda again. Okay, I don't think we're going to even pay attention to this at all for now. Uh, cause I'm, I'm gonna need to- I'm gonna need to get a move on and go find Hilda. Oh god. Okay. We need to get four gears. I think I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay, the timer's counting down immediately. Um, let's, let's, let's get it then. Let's get it. We need to find Hilda again. I don't know where she's gonna be, though. I have no clue where, where exactly she's going to appear, but that, that is what we're here to figure out, right? That is indeed what we're here to figure out, I think. We're not gonna be able to go over there. Um, so, find some gears? Oh, wait, no, we, we literally already found her again. <laughs> Hello? Looks like we must have met before. You have my gun. The other riders have the gears. You'll need to face them. That furnace over there can melt down metals and other stuff, turning them into useful building materials. You can scan it just like with any other furniture. Okay, well, I don't know if I want to do that right now. The, the mechan Triss has a gear for the wheel. You must retrieve it. Okay, wait a second. 
let me just uh, scan this right now. Oh god, we are wasting a lot of time by doing this though, that's the thing. Okay, furnace first edition. Oh god, can I stop misclicking on everything please? The furnace, convert some resources into others by making them very hot. And I got a recipe for that too. Okay, wait. H hang on a minute. I need to go and, and, and push chaos back. Wait, they said dormant rifts. Okay, actually, wait a second. What is this thing? Reveal the map? Open the map? That Okay, that's actually a gear down over there. Okay, actually, wait a second. That That is where we need to go then. I think that actually is where we need to go. Okay, wait, oh, hold up. We gotta go get- we gotta go get the gear. I'm more interested in going to get that gear right now. Okay, yeah, I think I am going in the correct direction. Chaos is rising? Yeah, so are the cute little kitty cats as well, apparently. <laughs> okay, don't- don't harm them for now, at least. Uh, are you... a good boy? You are not a good boy, you are throwing gears at me. Okay, hang on a second. Gotta- gotta choose- gotta test out my cold bullets here, then, in that case. I cannot tell if that's making you slower or not. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there's... Something glowing purple over that way. Hang on. We're gonna figure out what that is in just a moment. There we go. Pick all this crap up. Ice chunk, imperial linen. I do not know what any of that is. Okay, wait a second. There's a chest here as well. Uh, metal scrap. Another healing potion. Stone. Okay, just take all of that for now, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the time does not pause whenever I'm in the menus, though. That's the only thing. Okay. So. Did the do. Oh. Wait, can I- I need to go in here? Are you- oh, oh god, okay, wait, it's actually- It has like a shield around itself, hang on a second. I gotta- okay, well I did actually freeze it, I can also freeze the rifts as well. Okay, wait a second, I need to- I need to destroy you in order to push chaos back, so I'm guessing that maybe, perhaps, if I destroy you, then that'll actually, like, push the timer back a little bit, I'm gonna guess? Uh, wait, did I actually- did I actually destroy it? I think I did. Oh, reduce chaos, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. It pushes the timer back a lot, actually. It gave me, like, three additional minutes. Alright. Well, that's fine with me, bro. It's fine with me, broski. Hang on a second. This dude over here, who's not even attacking in the right direction. What are you doing, bud? Hang on a second. Oh, god, I- oh, Jesus, okay. Kind of starting to wonder if it actually was a good idea to- <laughs> To bring my cold bullets with me, because I only, I only have a hundred of them. That's the thing. I only have a hundred of these bad boys. Okay, wait a second. I can destroy this, though. Okay, there's the fiddlehead fern that I need, and I only need one. So that's fine. Okay, let's keep going back over... Yeah, let's go back over this way. Let's keep going over this way for now, because I need to I need to go and find those uh, th those gears. And I think it said there was a gear down over this way. And just look at the map just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Okay, yeah, I, I'm actually, like, right next to it. Okay, this other dude over here who's probably guarding the place, if, if I had to guess. Uh-oh. Wait a second, there we go. Oh god, okay, he he does also use melee attacks as well. Oh god, that actually... <laughs> okay, whenever he hits me with that, with, that, uh, with that gear, it also does a lot of damage. Wait, what is he... what is he running away with? Oh, he actually has the gear that I needed. Okay, well, he's dead. He's dead. There we go. Give me that. Very nice. Okay, I got one gear. I got one gear right now, at least. God, there's another freaking Chaos Rift that just opened up over over this way. Oh my lord, dude. Okay, hang hang on a moment. Hang on a minute. What, what are we doing right now here, boys? What are we doing right now? Oh, I can't step in the Chaos right here because it damages me, apparently. Okay, open this chest. The, 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 uh, the weak potions. I'll just I'll just take all of it for now. Sure. I'll just take all of it for the time being. <laughs> wait a second, this is a water barrel. What would happen if I were to destroy this? Actually, wait, can I- can I set this on fire, I wonder? Okay, actually punch it, please? Okay, no, I don't think I can destroy this. Well, no, I- I know I can, but like... Yeah, there we go. I- I was just kind of wondering if that was gonna put the fire out on the- the campfire. It says the campfire is wet, but it's not like... Okay, what in the frick is going on right now, dude? Okay, there's Chaos Rifts that can just appear, like, any- any- they can appear any time they want, apparently. Okay, hold on, hold up, hold up a minute. What are we doing here? What is that thing? I don't know, but it's- it's singing. Are you friendly? Are you- are you friendly? Can I even interact with you at all? I mean, you're not attacking me, so I'm guessing that you are? Yeah, hi, how are you doing, bud? 
How you doing? Okay, so that guy, that dude down there doesn't seem to be afraid of me, but the cats are, the cats are very much afraid of me. Um, okay, there's another gear, actually. Chaos grows stronger. Yeah, well, I need to figure out, okay, wait a second. I'm just gonna use this right now. I need to figure out how to craft more bullets. I need, I need to craft more bullets, like, like, immediately. Hang on a sec. If I craft another wooden gun, will that just give me, like, more bullets instantly? I don't think it did. Oh, actually, no, it did. It gave me another 100. Okay, these are just destruction bullets, but you know what? It's gonna have to do for now. It'll have to do. I'm gonna go and get this guy. Do do do. Oh, okay, he's malfunctioning here. Oh, okay, he's just a robot? Uh, okay, I think he has, like, a laser beam of some sort. Oh, he charges at me as well. That did not hit me at all somehow. Okay, wait a second. Oh, he's also really quick, too. Okay, he charges at me and then does a melee attack. Okay, that's fine. That's whatever. Okay, ow, ow, frick. I thought for sure that I could dodge out of the way of all of that. Oh, God. There we go. I think, well, I don't think it's gonna matter anyway, because I think he's about to die. The end draws near- hang on, don't- don't be so hopeless. Don't be so hopeless for now. Hold on. Okay. I got two gears. Just- just- just bear with me for a moment, okay? Hold weapon wheel? Well, okay, wait a second. Why is it telling me to hold the weapon wheel? Okay, yeah, I have a weapon wheel. I kind of already knew that, though. Okay, why is there an exclamation mark over my- 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 my furniture gun again? I don't know, the time is up. The world's ending. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, well, we better just- better just make it on back now. Right? Better just make it on back. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there's gonna be meteors, like- like, hurling down from the ground. Well, actually, wait a second. If I can destroy this- wait, am I- oh, oh wait, no, I'm- it's because I'm using the wrong- I, I'm using the wrong weapon right here. Hold on. What am I- what the frick am I doing right now? I should be able to destroy you and just- and push back time again, right? Oh my god, where the frick are you going, bud? Hang on a sec. Oh god. I don't know what's happening. Here we go. You're dead. Oh, that did not actually push back time. Okay, I better just get the hell out then. Alright, we're leaving. We're leaving. And, uh, I- oh god, we're- we're- okay, hang on, I need to consult the map for a minute. Okay, I think I'm going back to the right- to the right location. Why does that not pause the game when I'm- when I'm looking at the map, though? Like, I am in- in single-player mode here, aren't I? Okay, I think- I think we need to go over this way. We- we were back over here, right? I'm- I'm pretty sure. Yeah, hi, Hilda. This is where I found Hilda. I mean, I could probably still just, like, continue to find the other gears while the world is getting, like, absolutely obliterated right now, but... Okay, actually, I- I don't know where I actually started. Where did I start from? I don't remember. Um... Okay, wait. Oh, actually, no, I found the doorway. I'm gonna need to leave. Okay, actually, I still have the gears. Deliver the gears for now. Okay, there we go. I got- I got the gears. I can roll back time again, which I think I'm gonna actually have to because of, uh... Oh, I got like 10 additional seconds this time. I don't know where I got that from, but okay. Okay, so just- just to hold on- hold- hold on a minute. Hold on a minute here. Yeah, wooden gun equipped with cold bullets, and then wooden gun equipped with just normal bullets here. Okay, so hang on. I do have enough to craft more ice bullets, though. Okay, well in that- in that case, I should just craft more destruction bullets for the other, uh, the other wooden gun that I have. So I guess we have one wooden gun that's just, uh, yeah, dedicated for destruction bullets, and then another one that's dedicated for, like, ice bullets. Okay, I got a recipe for the furnace, but I don't have enough resources to actually build that right now. Okay, I can upgrade the, the first edition right now, so I may as well. I may as well. Allows the first edition to scan decorative buildings with 15 manuscripts? Okay. Uh, scan two creatures with the first edition as well. Okay, well, we can go and do that too. We can go and do that, too. And I already know which creatures I would like to scan, actually, so just, uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, this looks- this all looks completely different. Okay, wait, is this actually new as well? A potion brewing station. That is actually new. Okay, what does the entry for this say? Turns resources into consumable potions. Can we actually use that right now? Yeah, potions of speed. Po uh, cup of tea, a simple brew that puts a little pep in your step. Pep in your step, God. Increases speed by 15%. Yeah, but I already have, uh, don't I, don't I already have, like, mushrooms that allow me to go even faster than that? Yeah, increase speed by 30. 
Okay, but I guess, I guess this is actually, this lasts for a lot longer because it's 500 seconds. Okay, give me one cup of tea. Give me a cup of tea then, in that case. 500 seconds? I may as well just consume it now. Why not? There we go. Let me move a little bit quicker then. Do you know how to build a potion station? I have one right over there. Okay, well, I, I think I actually have the recipe for that now, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, where's, where's, where's the gears? I'm gonna need to go and find some more gears again. And I don't have a gosh darn clue where to find them. Hang on a sec. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit difficult, though, because he's, he's constantly trying to run away from me. Okay, no, I actually did scan him. Jinx? Let me, uh, why do I keep forgetting that I have to right-click in order to open this? Okay, this is Jinx. They say the Jinxes of the Imperium made ideal companions for young wizards, loyal but aloof, wise and cautious, and resistant to weaker magics. They made their homes in alchemist labs and on alchemist laps. On occasion, they would knock over an empty vial. What they were testing, other than their wizard's patience, is unknown. <laughs> okay, recipes unlock increase movement speed. Very nice. Increase movement speed, the sewing mechana. Okay, fine. I guess I could also scan you doofuses in the meantime while I'm trying to avoid your damn your damn fireballs here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, lordy. Lordy Lou. Oh, please let me scan you. Did not mean for that to rhyme. Okay, I didn't actually... Quest complete the first edition. You've been schooled. Okay, cool. Very nice. Faster reload saving mechana. Okay, so what, what was the, um... What was the entry I got for this? Makana Guardian. By banning the small folk from the Imperial City, the wizard elite hoped crime would disappear overnight. They found, however, that the empty city became a target for thieves to steal whatever magical artifacts the Shion would pay for. Soon every shop and government building had a mechanized guardian at its entrance. Okay, faster re- Excuse me for living. Okay, fine. You want to get scanned too, bud? You want to get scanned as well? There you go. Very nice. I don't know what your thing is. Okay, wait. Can I also scan you before you, you hurt me? You hurt me plenty? Oh, wait. Did I actually scan it? Apparently I did. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I might actually be screwed here. Okay, hold up. Hold up a minute. Oh, God. I keep... Okay, wait. Does my dodge roll also have a cooldown timer on it? What What is happening right now? Okay, there. There. You're, you, you're done. You're done, Zoe. Give me that ice chunk. Okay, I guess my dodge rolling also has a cooldown on it as well, but hang on a sec. I gotta check the description for this. I want to check the description for this. Okay, where, where are you at? Chaos has no mind or heart, just an endless hunger for tearing apart reality's fabric and returning to its purest essence. The Chaos Might is the simplest coalescence of Chaos's hunger, crawling across the earth to consume all that it touches. And an ambush rift. Something is sending these small rifts to hinder your progress. They only appear at nighttime or after Chaos has reached its peak. These rifts are certainly a nuisance, but when defeated, they implode into an orb that removes a small amount of chaos. Oh, and there's, there's another one right over there. Okay, uh, hang on. Do, 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 I'm gonna move you back. Move you back. Move you back. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're you're disappearing. Oh, wait, no, I can actually do this. Oh, that only give me like 15 additional seconds, though. No, I see what's happening. You're, you're trying to uh, d disappear right before you die, so that way I can't kill you. <laughs> I can't kill you so easily. There we go. Give me this, give me this arcana. Oh, good god, I need to find the gears. Where are the gears? Give me the gears, please. Oh yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to scan you as well, actually, because I don't know what you are. I want to know what you are as well. Makana, first edition. Uh, actually, wait a second. Oh, you are a Makana. The simplest Makana was used for basic labor around the Imperial City. Cleaning, repairing, watering, lighting streetlights, and all those jobs previously held by the paid laborers who were exiled from the city. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, just replace all the workers with robots. Yeah, that's, that's always, that's always an incredible idea. As opposed to just, you know, paying your workers. <laughs> Sounds a little too bit like reality. Okay, well, I'm about to get screwed over again because the time's about to run out, but hang on. Maybe we can still find the, uh... Maybe, maybe we can still find the, the gear before we have to disappear. Oh, Lord. Okay, we might have to disappear, like, right now, actually. Okay, wait a second. This is all... Oh, God, dude. This is all broken apart. I don't know where I picked up Arcana from, but okay. Thank, thank you for that. Um, I need to leave and go, go, go around. I need to go around over here. Oh, good God. Okay, just dodge roll away, dude. Dodge roll away from all my troubles. 
Actually, well, no, I don't- I don't think the gear would be found in there, would it? Okay, I'm not- I am not about to trap myself in this situation right here. Just- just hang on a minute. Hang on a moment. No, 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 go back- go back around this way. Go back around this way. Oh, wait, is it actually showing me where the gear is? It might be. Okay, well- well, hang on. I'm gonna need to- I'm gonna need to reset the world again because I- I wasted so much time trying to, uh, collect all of the- I, I, collecting all of the, uh, the entries for, like, the other creatures that I wanted to scan here. <laughs> Actually, I can research the poison bullet now, so I may as well. Poison research station. Learn the toxic and deadly secrets of poison here. Five manuscripts and a jinx eye? Oh, no. A jinx eye? No, I don't wanna- I don't wanna kill the little kitty cats, though. Absolutely not. No, I refuse. I am not harming the animals here, dude. No, absolutely not. You cannot- you cannot make me. You cannot force me to do that. Okay, I can't- I can't craft any more ice bullets at the moment. Okay, hang on. Ro roll back time again, please. Roll back time again, quickly. Just for- for a moment. There we go. Five minutes and ten. Actually, you know what else I'm gonna do in the meantime? I'm also going to, uh, deposit my- all of my arcana into the- into the bank here. There we go. Because I'm really not even using any of that arcana for anything at the moment, so... Let, let's just go back here. I'm gonna try and find the rest of those gears, and then we're gonna- We might actually end the video after that. We might end the video after we, uh, we find these gears. Because I feel like I have already been playing this for quite a while. Yeah, there's another- there's another Jinx. Okay, there's another star over here. Reveal the map. There we go. Yeah, okay, I think it's- I think it's showing me where the gear is. It seems to be over this way. It seems like... Yeah, it, well, it looks like it's over that way. Oh, there's another gear to the east of me as well, it seems. Okay, so where- where do I go first then, in that case? Maybe go down this way? Oh yeah, because I'm actually closest to this. Ooh, okay, bandits? Well, well, I don't- I don't think they're bandits necessarily, but they're- they're gunslingers. They're gunslingers. There we go. Just throws them solid. Oh Jesus. Okay, wait. Hang on a second. Oh, they're they're launching a bunch of crap at me. Okay, well that guy that guy's already dead. Okay, I, I only came for the ancient gear, actually, so I'm getting out of here. Holy disc usage, Batman. What is going on with my freaking SSD right now? Could you relax, please? Yeah, I was wondering why the game was lagging excessively there for a moment. My freaking disc usage was like exploding. I don't know what the freak was happening. There we go. I just decided to take that guy out as well, because that dude was just, like, charging at me. <laughs> Alright, let's- let- let's get it. Let's get it then. That's- that's one gear. I think I'm gonna need to go around in order to get the other one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to, like, go down this away. Yeah, go down these away. I gotta- I gotta go around. I have to follow the- the river over here. Gotta follow the river in order to get to the- the, the other gear. Uh, that guy doesn't seem to be holding the gear. No, he is not holding the gear. Hello. Okay, you're just- you're just gonna- you're just gonna launch crap at me anyway. It's not the dude I have to destroy, but even so, like... Oh god. Oh, this guy tries to, like, hit me with his- with his giant bag as well. I just noticed. Okay, wait, this dude is, like, running away from me now. Oh, is he running away from me because he's, uh, he's at low health? Oh god, he's really fast, though. Okay, wait, where are you- where- where in the world are you going, bud? Yeah, I think he's just running away from me now. Well... That's what happened. He just, like, blew up, dude. What the frick? Okay, relax. Just- just relax, dude. Just relax. We're gonna- we're gonna get to this damn gear over here. It seems to be down this way. God, I really have to, like, stray really far off the beaten path in order to find this thing, but I'm- I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find this damn gear if it's the last thing I do. I'm gonna make the trek all the way to the damn gear, and I'm gonna take it back home with me, and we're gonna- we're gonna get the frick out of Dodge. We're gonna finally end this damn video off. Okay, that's not what I would like to deal with at the moment. I think I'm actually just going to go past that. Okay, yeah, the gear's up this way. Let me just get this turnip in the meantime. Okay, it looks like it's being guarded by all sorts of bull crap. There we go, give me some more time at least. There are 30 seconds. Well, I don't know if it's being guarded by you necessarily, but... I'll try to activate you and see if I can freaking, like, like destroy you. There we go. There we go, very no Is that a big jinx over there? Wait a second. Why does that jinx look so large over that way? Oh, because he is a big boy. Oh no, there's- there's big kitty cats in this game as well. Oh, there's really big kitty cats. Hang on a second. I'm trying to- I don't know if he's- if he's friendly or not. Oh no, he's the one who's holding the gear. Oh no, I may actually need to kill him. Am I actually gonna need to kill him even though I don't- I really don't want to? Oh no. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to- 
trying to get the the other freaking little guys out of here as well. There. Oh my god, another freaking chaos rift. There we go. Reduce the chaos. Oh, that reduced it by three minutes. Okay. You guys are not friendly. Or, no, you guys are friendly. No, this is a level 8 cat, though. Okay, yep, the kitty cat is not friendly. The big kitty's not friendly. Oh, lord. Okay, well, I'm gonna need... I I'm gonna need the damn, uh... I'm gonna need that gear, dude. Okay, it says research better spells, but you know what? I, I don't think I need better spells. I think what I need is better aiming. God, and the fact that there's another Chaos Rift over there that's just going insane in the background. Not helping. Not helping my case here. Not helping my cause. Okay, is this the only attack that you have, though? Can you only just, like... Yeah, he just, he just like, charges at me a lot. Okay. Is that... It seems like that's the only attack you have, but you do it, like, fairly often. God, there is so many, like, trees and other sorts of structures that are in my way right now. Could you please not? Could you please not? Okay, actually, this dude is about to die anyway. Okay, well, that's it. Chaos Rift has appeared nearby. Okay, well, I actually did get some Jinx Ice from that as well. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna retreat now. I didn't want to kill the big kitty, but he had a gear, and he was trying to kill me, so, I mean, it was fair game anyway, so... Whatever. I'm out of here. I'm out of here now. Those are all the gears that I needed. I'm going home and r r relaxing. <laughs> yeah, we need to get the heck out of here. Yeah, so it's the small cats that, that are just, like, scared of me, but the big kitty cat... Yeah, the big, the big cat doesn't like me. He doesn't really like, uh, uh, gunslingers out here. He doesn't like gunslingers like me. Does not take kindly to the, to the gunmancers out here, it would see him. Okay, so how did I, how did I get back again? I think I just need to follow the river, right? I had to follow the river in order to get, in order to get over here. Okay, yeah, I think we are basically, we are basically back at, at where we spawned. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is actually the doorway. Okay, we're good then. We're good then. We got it back. Let me just put these in the wheel ahead of time. Is there any um, any more bullets that I could actually... I can research the charming bullet as well. Okay, fine. I may as well. Life research station. A building where you can study life, healing, and growth magics. Okay. Okay, let me just restock this quickly. Okay, I actually can restock my cold bullets for now. Very good. Okay. Holy crap, man. I mean, we actually did it. We got it. We freaking got it. Alright. So, I mean, we roll back time again. What is this gonna do now? Is, is that the end of the quest, or is there something else that I have to do now? Oh, there's three more gears that I have to get. Okay, well, I guess, I guess I have to, like, fill out the rest of the machine, right? I have to rebuild the rest of the machine. Well, I mean, this is only a demo, so I'm guessing that... Once I build the rest of the machine here, that might actually be the end of the demo. So, I don't know. We can try and find the other gears, but... I feel like we might be coming up to the end of the demo after this. I don't really know, but... We'll see. We'll keep going with it for maybe a little longer. Yeah, and the only task that it's giving me right now is to find gears. So, maybe this is what we'll just be doing for, like, the remainder of the, of the video, then. In that case. Because, I mean, I, I do feel like we might be coming up to the end of this. Why is there just a, a, a bench over there in the water? Okay, that guy is uh, soaking wet. He is incredibly moist. I'm just going to ignore that because you do not at all have the thing that I needed in order to succeed. Um, oh god, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take care of this rift right here because I want to get some additional time on the clock if I can. Please and thank you. Oh, I should have... I, you know what I should have done? I should have gone and, uh... I should have gone and, uh, deposited the rest of my Arcana. That's what I actually should have done, I think. Okay, well, that tower is actually damaging the, uh, the, uh, the rift quite a bit. So it does actually seem like I can sort of get the enemies to infight here a little bit, which is interesting. Oh, yeah, they just th straight up obliterated them. Look at that. I can bait the enemies into attacking the other enemies. Okay, well, I got seven minutes on the clock now. There we go. Provides me with a little bit of leverage, for absolute sure. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on going and trying to find this th these other um, these other gears, if I possibly can. Okay, I think the star just means where Hilda can be found, right? Oh no, this is actually where I can reveal more of the map. Okay, so when I revealed the map, it also reveals where like the gears are. Okay, wait a second. So there is actually another gear down over this way. It's it's showing me. 
being guarded by another rift. Oh, and uh, it being guarded by a lot of rocks as well. Okay, I'm gonna need to destroy some of these rocks, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to destroy these rocks for absolute sure. Okay, well, you know what? I have the ammunition in order to get it done, so I may as well just, just do this. There we go. Get this out of here so I can, like, actually move along. Okay, yeah, I don't have any better spells on this. I, I mean, I don't know. Are my bullets more effective? My cold bullets? Actually, it kind of seems like my cold bullets are a little bit more effective against the rocks. I guess because they do slightly more damage, but I don't really want to be wasting them too much. Uh, that is not... that is not a rift. Uh, wait, what is this? That's some kind of arcana. Oh, that's... that's... that's a tentacle monster of some kind. It's just a big, uh... Oh my god, it's... it's... yeah, it's a big... it's a big, uh... What is the word I'm looking for right now? A jellyfish? Yes. Big jellyfish. Big jellyfish boy. Okay, I'm gonna need to slow you down a little bit. Hang on a second. Get some freeze on ya. Get some Mr. Freeze on you. Oh, wow. That is actually not doing any... That's doing, like, barely any damage. Oh, God. Well, I mean, very little damage is better than no damage. So, you know what? I think I'll just stick with it for now. I'm way too afraid to use uh, melee attacks on this thing. That's the thing. So, I think what I should do for now is just continuously use this. Okay, wait a second. Is there another dude, like, appearing in his place? What is going on here? Yeah, just just bait him away from the arena. Sure, why not? Oh, my God. Why- what is with- what are all the other things that are attacking me right now? I actually have no idea. Yeah, he's launching some blobs at me, and, like, I think that's actually spawning in more enemies. Oh, that's... Somebody just straight up blew a hole into the island. Okay, apparently there's enemies who can do that. Which I had no idea about. Oh, that's just- that's just straight up a bomb. He's laying down bombs. Yeah, that just- that just causes a bunch of chaos to appear. I mean, if I can bait the, uh, the fireball shooting enemies into hitting this dude right here, that would actually be great for me. If I can bait them into- into doing that, then that would actually be fantastic. I'm already out of freaking cold bullets. Okay, I actually did get hit there, but, uh, chaos is I do not give a crap about chaos right now, okay? Frick him entirely, alright? I could honestly care less about what he has to say about the world around him and the fate of the world and all of that garbo because I just do not care anymore. I already have one gear. I'm just gonna leave now, okay? I'm, I'm getting out of here. Uh, excuse me? What is that green thing that's exploding? Okay, wait. What is happening right now? Dude, there are so many things that are going on right now. Is that... Are you a good thing? Oh, you're actually healing me. Oh, the Makana was he healing me. Oh, okay. So, like, if I'm if I'm hurt a little bit, you guys can actually come and heal me. Oh, all right. I was not aware of that. I'm gonna go steal this guy's chest. Hang on. I'm gonna loot this guy's chest when he's not looking. Take all of it. Okay. Uh, run away. Oh god, he saw me. Run away. Frick. Uh, tower, can you go and do something to him, please? Okay, no. Never mind. You you, you don't want to do anything to. Oh my god, there's so many enemies like everywhere, dude. What is what is this? What is going on right now? Get out of here. Give me this turnip in the meantime. Actually, I- I should- I should put something in my, uh... Yeah, I should- I should put something in my, uh, my wheel right here, right? Did I say my wheel? Yeah, my potion wheel, that's what I meant to say. Chaos grows stronger. Okay, well, maybe I can just take this gear back for now. Take this one gear back, reset the world again, and go for the, uh, try to find the other two gears here. Maybe that's what I'll try and do. Hang on a second. This is- this is the first one. Oh, that's actually the end of the demo. Oh, never mind. I guess you can't find any of the gears in the full in the full game. <laughs> or I guess you can't find all the gears. Okay, the me the Mechantress awaits. Congratulations, you've completed the demo for Wizard with a Gun. Explore more of the Shatter when we release later this year. Join our Discord server for updates and more. Wishlist to be notified when the game releases. Okay, wait. I can continue playing though. Okay, wait. But can I still find the other gears though? Does it does it allow me to? Or, or, or what? Hang on a second. Okay, I actually don't have enough to craft my, uh, I, I don't have enough to craft my cold bullets anymore. Hang on, let me just get some destruction bullets then in that case. Okay, wait a second. Can I not actually go and get the other gears then? Because apparently they said that's the end of the demo, so uh, hold up a minute. Hold on, I want to see something quickly though. Okay, I have 10 seconds all of a sudden. Okay, so wait. I think the gears are actually giving me like a little bit of a time bonus here. 
Because now I have 20, 20 additional seconds to find more gears. Okay, wait a second. Are there are there more gears that I can find? Can I go and find, like, the other gears here? Yeah, the Mechantris to be continued, but... Is it possible for me to find some of the other gears on this map, or are they just or are they just not here? Are they just not here at all? I don't know, let me let me go out and explore very quickly, because I just want to make absolutely sure that I can actually collect these last two gears here, because I don't I don't actually know if I can now. Hang on a second. I wanna I, I just wanna check something. I wanna make sure. Just want to make sure here. Let me just go out on an expedition to try and find the, the remaining gears. I don't know, maybe maybe it's not going to let me. Hang on, I know I know one way that I can get through that. That is just a, a tower. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's just a spire of some sort. Hang on a second. What is this? Yeah, I just want to see very quickly. I'm not afraid of that dude over there because I don't think there's any way that guy can actually come towards me. Because I think he's being blocked off by this little, this little, uh this little gap in the island right here. Okay, yes, I can actually go and get the other gears, because I noticed that there is a gear icon on the map. Let me just look at that? Yeah. But actually, wait a second, how am I going to get to that, though? Uh... Oh, I can zoom in the map. Okay, hang on a second. Um... Huh, actually, wait a second. This gear is located on a floating island that's separated from the other parts of the map. Uh, actually... How exactly am I going to get over there? Because we don't have anything right now that actually allows us to, like, jump or anything. That just allows us to, like, like fly over the gaps in the islands. So actually, how are we even going to get over there? Is there a way that we even can at the moment? I have no clue, actually. Because I noticed that... It, it does seem to be, like, another, like, mini-boss of some sort that is holding the gear, because the gear is moving around on the map. But, uh... Huh. That's weird. How am I gonna get over the- Excuse me. Why do you always appear at the most inconvenient times? Yeah, that's right. You get out of here. You get out of here, bud. It's not like you- It's not like your guys could even get to me anyway, but... <laughs> yeah, it really does not seem like there's- There's any way I can get to it, because it's- It's completely disconnected from the rest of the map. So, I have no idea what I would have to do in that scenario. Huh. Well, uh, never mind then. I don't think we are actually going to be able to get the other gears, because it seems like that gear is in an inaccessible area. Which I imagine that if I, if I had a very specific kind of spell, I would probably be able to get over there? But as it stands right now, I cannot. That guy has the shotgun. Well... Helped him out greatly, because he's deceased now. Okay, yeah, well, that's really strange. So, I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna be able to get to that, uh... To that other gear, then. There must be, like, some sort of upgrade that allows me to jump over the gaps in the island. But I don't know if I can actually, like, acquire that upgrade in the... In the demo version of the game. I don't know if that's possible at the moment. It, it might not be. Okay, well, I think in that case, I'm gonna just deposit the rest of this Arcana here. <laughs> yeah, I think in that case, guys, I may actually end the video right here, because I think that might actually be the end of the demo for real. So, let me just refill this quickly. Uh, I can replenish... No, I actually cannot replenish my, my gold bullets still, or my cold bullets. Not my gold ones, what am I saying right now? Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna have no other choice but to stop for now, because it, it doesn't seem like there is really any more that I can do in the demo, actually. I, I don't really know if I can actually go and collect those other gears, because that other gear was very clearly in an inaccessible area that I just couldn't, like, jump towards, because... It doesn't seem like you actually can jump in this game, you can only dodge roll. And it doesn't seem like you can fall off the island anyway, because it basically seems like the edges of the island are guarded by an invisible wall. Yeah, so I don't really know what else to do then, so I guess, I guess with that being said, uh, I think that's the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, alrighty then, maybe I will just, uh, not all creatures will attack you on sight, just most of them. Yeah, I kind of already, kind of already, uh, figured that out on my own. Oh, wow, nine gears out of 66? Okay, yeah, there's definitely, 
<laughs> yeah, there's no way in hell I would have been uh, doing that even in the full version of the game. At least not in a video. Okay, actually, wait a second. I just went back into my save file here, and now it's saying gears collected zero at a zero. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. I didn't break the game accidentally, did I? Can I just try something out here? Can I fix this by just resetting the timer? Okay, yeah, I, I actually can. It says zero out of two. Okay, well, I think either way I am going to leave the video here, guys, because I have been playing for a while, and I think, I think I get it. I think I've seen enough for now. Yeah, so that was the demo for Wizard with a Gun, and I gotta say, it seems to be coming along pretty nicely right now. I'm at least glad that I was able to show off the enchanted bullets. Or at least, like, one of the enchanted bullets anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't find the, uh, the enchanted bullets that cause, like, purple explosions whenever you fire rounds at people. But, I mean, we were at least able to experiment with some ice bullets, so I guess that was, uh, I think it was still a good substitute, at least. Yeah, so it seems like the core gameplay mechanics have already been implemented, so it's like, you can use both weapons and melee attacks, you can dodge roll, you can, of course, enchant your bullets, and it seems like there are a few enchantments that you can already mess around with in the demo. There also seems to be a day and night cycle as well, which I, I guess I'm not really too surprised, because this is supposed to be a survival game. Yeah, and I guess the overall end game is that you're trying to collect these ancient gears in order to turn back time even further and further, and eventually turn it back all the way to the point where you do finally figure out what actually caused the world to get obliterated. It seems like you're gonna need to collect a lot of gears in order to get that accomplished, though, because apparently the full game is going to have 66 of them, and we only managed to collect 9 in the demo, so... How much game completion would that be, technically? I have the calculator out now, the Windows calculator. Uh, basically 13.6%? Okay, yeah, so I mean, I guess that's like a decent chunk of the main story that you can play, but it's not gonna last you for too long, because I, I was only playing that for about 90 minutes, give or take, so the single-player demo here only seems to last for, uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half, or you can, like, beat it in about 60 to 90 minutes. Which, again, I'm not surprised, because, like, it's just a demo. You know, I don't- I don't expect to play, like, massive chunks of games whenever I do cover demos like this. Apparently, this demo was also made specifically for the Steam Next Festival, because I noticed that the version number down here at the bottom left of the screen says Steam Next Fest Release, but the Steam Next Festival hasn't actually started yet? I imagine it will probably be starting back up once again sometime later this month, but... I don't believe the Steam Next Festival has actually started yet, like, not the summer edition of it. I think the demo for this game became available almost immediately after the game was shown off at the Summer Games Fest this year. You know, the other big video game livestream that's hosted by Jeff Keighley, who also, you know, runs the Video Game Awards. Or just the Game Awards, I think it's called. Yeah, I think the demo for Wizard with a Gun became available, like, almost immediately after the game was shown off during Summer Games Fest. But I imagine that it's probably going to remain available for a while if if this specific version of the game was actually made for Steam Next Fest specifically. So it'll likely be playable for a little while after this. I don't know if it's going to be removed at any point or if the developers are just going to keep it available until the full version of the game comes out, which, again... There's no release date for the full game at the moment, so it's just gonna come out whenever it's ready. But yeah, that was still a decent chunk of the game that got shown off to us. There's, uh, it seems to be quite a bit of variation in the, in the enemy designs for sure. Quite a few different enemies that you can encounter, and some various, uh, woodland creatures that you can also interact with. Uh, one of which seems to actually heal you if you are hurt, which is always, uh, very nice. Very nice thing to have for sure. It seems like the Makana can actually heal you whenever, uh, you take damage. I really wish I was able to use more weapons than just the wooden gun in this demo, but I mean, again, it is just a demo, so... I fully understand that this is not indicative of the final product, because a lot of these free demos never are. Like, I understand completely that this game is very much still in active development, and it's- it has been worked 
worked on for a pretty long time already. Like, Wizard with a Gun has already been in development for at least a year so far, and it probably has been in development for even longer than that so far, so... But if this demo is anything to go by, it's already looking pretty promising, I would say. It already seems like there's an entire boatload of weapons, enchantments, and items that have already been implemented into the game, even if most of them might not be usable in the demo specifically, but it seems like they are already there. I guess for when the full game finally comes out. I do know that there's supposed to be different biomes that you can also discover in this game as well, but I only managed to find like one biome so far, which is basically just a forest. Again, I did see in the trailer for this game that there is some sort of like tundra biome that you can explore as well, but I guess that's only coming in the full game too. And as you acquire more ancient gears and keep rolling back time, you'll be able to explore more biomes. The way that you unlock different biomes is by collecting more gears, basically. From my understanding, at least, that seems like how, how progression in this game works. Yeah, so that was still a pretty fun time overall, even though it only lasted for a very brief amount of time. Again, because this is only a demo, I can't really give, like, any sort of verdict on this game at the moment. I don't really think that would be fair, but I can at least say that it is looking promising at the moment. I think Devolver could potentially have another big hit on their hands here, possibly? But of course, it's still way too early to say that for sure. It seems pretty interesting at the moment. I wish there was, like, a little bit more that I could actually do in the game before the demo ended, but again, whenever I play these demos, I don't ever know when exactly the demo is going to end either, because usually I always play these demos completely blind, and I have no idea when exactly uh, the demo is just going to end suddenly. Like, I don't know where exactly the developers have placed the endpoint of the demo most of the time. And oftentimes, the length of these videos tends to vary as well because of that, because sometimes I, I end up playing like relatively short demos, like the Bleak Sword DX demo, which by the way, Bleak Sword DX is actually out now, it did finally come out in full, and I could very well be revisiting that game sometime later this year possibly, so stay tuned. But yeah, it could wind up being a very short demo like that, or it could wind up being like a, a relatively lengthier demo like this one. I never truly know sometimes whenever I play demos like this, but as always, I kind of just roll with the punches, you know? But yeah, I did enjoy this demo overall, it does look pretty promising, and I am going to continue to to keep my eyes on this demo for sure, or keep my eyes on this game, I should say, and see whatever else that the game's developers choose to implement into the game over time. I do know that the developers of this game are fairly active on Twitter, and they do release updates on what they're currently working on in regards to Wizard with a Gun fairly often, it seems. Like, they post about the game's progress fairly often, so I'll try to keep up with it as much as I can, but... In the meantime, if you guys want to go and download this demo and play it for yourselves, there's a link in the description to where you can play the demo on Steam. And for the record, you can only play the demo for this game on Steam at the moment. There is no demo available for this game on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S at the moment. You can wishlist the game on PS5, but you can't play the demo on PS5. You can only play it on PC. And I think I'm just gonna leave you guys with that for now. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!